Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The US election, which takes place every four years, can be said to directly affect the lifeline of the global economy. Every new president will take corresponding measures after taking office. Now, under the promotion of the Biden team, Sino-US trade relations have reached the worst stage in history. Whether Sino-US trade relations can be improved is also directly linked to the interests of international companies. ASML and TSMC are gradually losing the Chinese market under the chip rules. Whether Trump can provide shipment authorization after taking office has also become a hot topic in the semiconductor market at this stage. Although China has touched the threshold of high-end chips, after the return of the Kirin 9000S chip, it is not a real 7 nanometers process. The performance gap will definitely lead to a lack of follow-up. It is naturally good to be able to restore international cooperation, but perhaps this is not realistic. The strictest chip rules currently implemented are ostensibly laid out by the Biden team, but in fact they are policies that have been formed in the Trump era. Therefore, if Harris takes office, he may continue to maintain the status quo, which is also in a state of balance, and Chinese semiconductors can also take the opportunity to become autonomous. But after Trump returns, the market environment is likely to be different. After his votes won, Trump shouted America is back. A few simple words expressed everything, indicating that he did not approve of what the Biden team did, and isolating Huawei 5G was also proposed by Trump. Therefore, after Trump took over, the chip rules could not be cancelled but would be more stringent. It is very likely that even the shipment of mid- and low-end chips would be restricted. On the contrary, Harris and Biden belong to the same party, and they will probably remain on the same channel in many policies. They will be gentler on chip shipments, and will only restrict high-end chips. As for whether TSMC and ASML can obtain shipping licenses, the answer is already very clear. After Trump came to power, TSMC will not only be unable to ship freely, but will also be squeezed more severely, because Trump is a businessman and everything is based on interests first. Inviting TSMC to build a factory in the United States is what he wanted to do, but did not do, so naturally he would not let TSMC have an easy time. TSMC's total investment in the United States has exceeded 65 billion US dollars, and the planned subsidy application has reached 30 billion US dollars. Now only 11.6 billion US dollars have been received. Trump has always opposed the chip bill and refused large subsidies. Let alone whether the 11.6 billion can be obtained, the remaining subsidies are likely to be wasted. So much money has been invested, and the 4 nanometers process has begun trial production. If you withdraw at this time, the loss will be greater, and you may directly offend Trump. There will inevitably be problems with the subsequent orders from US companies. If you want to continue the layout, you can only bear the high cost of building a factory independently, but if US companies do not agree to raise prices, it will eventually be unprofitable. And TSMC has no way out. The elimination of US technology cannot be solved in the short term. It is impossible to return to the Chinese market. All you can do is to maintain the first place in the industry and keep the top production capacity in Taiwan province, 
so that the United States can be afraid. ASML's situation is not much better either. Trump is pursuing eradicating the problem. The part supply and after-sales service restrictions imposed by the Biden team will not only continue to be maintained, but may even be intensified. ASML can only wait to completely lose the Chinese market. But this is not a bad thing for China. Giving up any illusions about Western countries can help Chinese companies speed up independent research and development. Driven by Huawei, the domestic semiconductor supply chain has already taken shape. Once Trump increases chip restrictions, it will definitely cause a greater chain reaction. The monopoly of American chips and systems has been completely broken by China. The situation will become more and more serious in the future. In this chip war, China's advantage is already very large. The impact of TSMC's suspension of foundry services is far more than that. First, it has exacerbated the imbalance between supply and demand in China's semiconductor industry, which may hinder the advancement of some high-tech projects. Secondly, this decision may also prompt a major reorganization of the global semiconductor supply chain, and countries and regions may reassess their risk of relying on a single supplier. In short, Facing the chip restrictions of the United States and the foundry supply cut of TSMC, China's AI chip industry is standing at a crossroads. On the one hand, over-reliance on other people's technology will eventually be controlled by others. On the other hand, seeking breakthroughs in adversity is an opportunity to promote the accelerated development of the domestic semiconductor manufacturing industry. The United States' behavior of restricting China's development not only violates the principle of fair competition, but also hinders the process of global scientific and technological cooperation and exchanges. In the past development, Domestic enterprises did have the problem of over-reliance on external technology and neglecting their own basic skills. Today, facing unprecedented challenges, China must learn from its mistakes, reflect deeply and accelerate the pace of independent innovation. What do you think of this?